So today we're going to be changing a um, evaporator um, coil on the front of the uh, radiator, radiator area. Um, first thing um, on my uh, air conditioning system, it sprung a leak. So um, the first thing that I wanted to do is uh, hook some gauges up to the high and low side, make sure there's no pressure within the system. So there wasn't. Um, so I started to uh, do the repair. Um, on, on this repair, we basically pop out a couple of these plastic lock-in washers on these corner spots. And uh, we can remove the shroud out of the picture. Um, next, we come over to the uh, um, bumper cover and um, underneath here there's a screw hole right there and basically it pops out this screw here on both sides. You can do that on both sides. Uh, eventually you can just separate the, the top piece of the bumper cover away from the light fixtures. Um, as well as there's a couple bolts that go up here that hold the Honda emblem on with the bumper cover. So I took those off. And you can see the uh, bumper covers off on the driver's side. Um, next, I started taking out some bolts holding in the um, evaporator coil on both sides. As you can see over here on this side, this little metal bracket, I was turning it up and it, it secures onto that rubber um, washer there eventually when I put it back together but basically that was bolted to the um, the evaporator coil so um, we got that out of the way inside of the uh, the grill here um, I separated the um, sensor here on this bracket and then I pulled away the uh, the wire off out of the hole so that's gonna, going to um, be need to come off to uh, pull off the evaporator coil. On this other side, there's, I believe they were 10 millimeter bolts. Um, basically, I took them out of here. There was also a, a bracket just below the hose that was like um, mounted in there to hold the hose. And then at the far bottom down here, there was another 10 millimeter bolt. So basically, uh, I took all those bolts out and tapped off the uh, the hosing um, to be able to pull the uh, hose unit out. And at this point, um, the uh, old unit is kind of flopping around. So I'm going to be pulling that out. And um, I've got this uh, newer unit here that I just grabbed off of Rock Auto. And it's got the dryer on it and stuff. So I'll be putting that one in and fixing my leak. After my leak is uh, taken care of, um, most likely, likely I'll be probably taking this down to uh, Pep Boys so they can put a vacuum on the system, make sure there's no leaks, get all the uh, air out of the in internals of the system, and then uh, um, load it up with some new Freon and stuff. So that's basically the repair. Uh, I would say it's going to take me underneath an hour's worth of time. Pretty easy repair overall. Um, lastly, I've seen some videos where underneath they're taking the bottom fasteners off of the bumper down below and stuff. But I, I decided not to do that because this uh, Honda grill pulls far enough away where you can get in there and take off the bolts and um, do your work without uh, more disassembly.